Tony the Soy Sass Assassin, welcome to another cigar review. And today is kind of like a revisit. So if you guys remember a while back, I I you know visited these Warfighter sampler pack that they sent me, and I had a lot of issues. So I redid a few more, and now the leftovers has been sitting in my humidor for a while now, and they're properly sit there for a while now. And I feel like it's time to revisit them and give a proper price. Thing, right so i got here a warfighter 5 556 mm field and it's a connecticut shade cigar it's the name one thing i don't get is the name unless you're like a war guy unless you're like a gun guy you're not gonna understand this i i don't like this name like i can't i can't figure it out i can't remember it so the wrapper is Connecticut Shea from Honduras. Uh, the binder is Nicaraguan Habano. And the filler is Nicaraguan and Colombia. Okay. And the size is 6 by 52 and the MSRP at 10 bucks. 10 bucks. So it's not too bad, right? So let's see if we can get the 10 bucks. So as I feel like if nothing goes wrong, it's 10 bucks. Cutter. I think I just jinx myself when I say nothing goes wrong. Because usually when I say that, I get myself in trouble. Yep, I know I'm going to get myself in trouble. Sweet Woodsy. A little bit raisiny. And very tight pack. Very tight pack. But I can see a stem that I can pull out in a little bit. So I'll probably just do that. Actually, after I massage it's a little bit better. Maybe, maybe this thing could be saved. So let's light it up. I'm hoping, I'm praying. I mean, the person that's making this, I guess it's a bunch of good guys. But, you know, it's not my fault if the cigar doesn't come out good, right? I mean, you, you should, like, if it's a quality issue, it's still not the person who came out the cigar's fault because it really has to do with the factory. So, but I don't want to get into the bad side. Okay. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of creaminess with the... And cedar, but like it has that bitterness like at one corner of that cedar. It's weird. Yeah, and that bitterness kind of has a little bit of sourness to it. And that stem is all the way down here. You can almost see it. You can almost see it. Can you see that? Right here, that stem goes down all the way. So, but you know, it's not a bad looking cigar. I just can't get it. I just don't understand it. So, um, you know. Because for the people who, who, who understands it, who owns guns, it's got to be good. For the people who done to get it, it's like, can, can I just call it field? It's 
It's tried to be sweet, but that sourness kind of kind of kicks in a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely see this. You can definitely see that. Guess where the stem is? Right? <laughs> it's all the way around, yeah. So Yeah, it should be okay. It's on the side. I can't really see it now. Yeah, I can. Well, if I want you, because I know where it is, so. But it's burning. It has a little bit of like baking spice to it. It's trying to become sweet. It's trying very hard to become sweet. It, it's cedary, it's creamy. Has a little bit of pepper. It's almost leathery too. But it's tried to be sweet. And that, that sourness just like stops it. Uh, I don't know where this is trying to go, you know? It's Connecticut shade, but I don't know where it's trying to go. Anyways. I will smoke one third, battle with this um, warfighter, and um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I smoked through one third with some issue. As you can see, again, I pull a stem out of right here. You see that? And that stem was this long. And this, that was longer than the cigar. So at one point, this was folded. I broke it, but this was kind of folded. So it has no draw. But once I pull it out, the draw is good. So you get a little bit of cedar, almost like a little bit of fruitiness, some sort of like um, pear or something like that, fruitiness. And then you get cedar. And then you get like a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of creaminess. And that's what's going on with the first third. And I keep smoking it because, like, you know, I was talking and then, you know, and it become a muscle memory here and there. And now that this draw is actually not bad. But again, the problem still, you know, obviously right here is what I put it out. Where did it go? Yep, right here. Right here. That's where I pulled the thing out. So, right here. And yeah, I mean, once you get the stem out, it was good. I mean, that kind of falls back to the first batch issue was stem. Like I said, I can't blame them. It has to really do with the manufacturer. They just pack everything together without really doing that QA and make sure it's draw. Something like that. So, I don't know. Now it's smokable. I'm smoking it. It's, um, at this point, I, I can see 8 bucks. I can see 8 bucks. If there's no issue with that, it will happen 10 bucks right now. But I can see 8 bucks. So, I'm going to continue to smoke it, second half. I only have a little bit left for second half. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go back and review the rest because I'm kind of downfounded. I don't want to talk shit about them because they went through the trouble and sent me another pack. But if the packs still have the same issue, like what am I supposed to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, cigar tastes okay, but I don't want to go through the same issue all, all over, right? You can, you can keep replacing the cigar, but... Is that the 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 uh, the um, the way that you want your customer to see your cigars? That like every time before you smoke a cigar, pull, pull the stem out. It's almost like a like a grenade. <laughs> you know, you have to get the safety out first before you start. That's what it feels like. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little trouble with this, but you know, I'll continue to smoke it and we'll see where that goes. Okay, so I will say this is too dur. You know. It kind of tastes the same. It ha also have that, I don't know. I, I, I describe it as a paper box taste. It tastes like a tobacco and cross between tobacco and paper box. I'm not, you know, I can't really blame that because it's a Connecticut and you're not supposed to expect too much from Connecticut. So, but still tastes like an $8 cigar, if not less. 
I'm trying to remove this band right now. It's not listening. All right, so here we go. Almost. Kind of. Almost. Come on. Without destroying this thing. Okay, here we go. That's the band. See? It's 5.56 mm. Like for those people who play with guns and stuff like that, they will understand it. For people like me, we're not going to be able to tell. So, you know, and then it doesn't have the name feel on it. So I can't tell what that really is. And there's two kinds. I think this garrison and feel. So for average consumer, it actually made it harder for, for us to identify what that is. And especially go into a shop, try to get cigars. So I don't know why they do that. But, you know, I know they want to have a theme. They want to have it going. So, yeah, you know, it's a personal choice. Um, the logo. It's kind of cool. Gets the point across. They did send me last time some um, patches. So, you know, the way they designed their, um, their, their, their logo is easy to make patches, which is nice. So that's, that's kind of cool. They thought about that. For example, me, we didn't thought about our logo before we make it because it's super hard to make anything with it. So they're smart. Anyway, so we have a last third left. Hopefully that goes away. It still have that bitterness to it. Some people might like it. Some people won't, but it's a Connecticut. What can you ask? So um, usually, usually for Honduras, tobacco cigar you want to look for that really sweet cedar i'm not really tasting it from this thing if any it has cedar but there's more bitter than sweet so i'm not sure where this tried to go you know it's just one of those cigars that want to be something but it didn't get there yeah um, you know eight bucks is about where i can give this cigar I'm pretty sure you can get to eight box too by purchasing a box or something like that. But a single usually is a little bit more expensive. Ten bucks. I don't really see it in the cigar right now. So let me finish the last third. I'll be back. All right. So it blew up a lot, last a little bit. It just exploded, you know, which I'm not too surprised because it was giving me a little bit issue. So yeah, eight bucks. Laster did taste a little bit better. Uh, Laster has a little bit more flavor. Laster has a little bit more, I don't know what you call that fruitiness. Um, but that's pretty much it. Again, I, I'm not going to expect too much from Connecticut because that's what really is. It's like uh, light, not much going on cigar. And this light, not much going on cigar is light, not much going on, which is what you expect. But at the same time, if it's light and nothing going on, would you really pay $10 for that? Right? If you ask yourself, like, you know, hey, I'm going to go buy a cigar that just tastes like almost very close, pretty close to all the other Connecticut that's out there. But all the other Connecticut is between $6 and $8 range. This one's $10. you will be like, all right, I want to support some military, so that that will do it, okay? That makes sense. I was like, okay. Because I want to support the military, so I'd like I like to pay a dollar or two more to to kind of do that. That's but then the cigar itself, let's just be strict with just cigar itself. It's an eight dollar cigar. Eight dollar cigar. And I think that's fair to the cigar price. Like, you know, eight dollar cigar. So you get an $8 cigar and a little bit, whatever that, I think they do do something to like contribute to the military or whatever. That's why they call it war fighter kind of thing. So I think they're like war vets. That's what it is. I think that's what it is. The, the owner or the people work there were war, war vets. So, you know, put that in effect, I can see $10. But strictly cigar, eight. Okay, so I think that's fair assessment to this particular cigar. 
and so yeah, there is way that I can justify ten, but I would like to say this cigar is eight. So you could justify ten if you're factoring all that behind the reason. But if you're buying a cigar, you probably wouldn't know that, right? If you just go to a shop and just say, I want to get a cigar, that cigar looks good, I'm gonna try that one. You wouldn't think that, you know, whatever the story behind it, until you after you smoked it, you liked it, you want to look into what's going on with it. If that makes sense. I don't think it's too far apart, to be honest. Like, you know, a lot of times you can find $10 cigar for eight, or you can find $8 cigar for 10. You know, it depends on the shop and what thing they're running, what kind of event they're running, that kind of stuff. So, it's doable, it's there. And that will be it for this cigar. Yeah. So that's it for the cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, comment, share. If you don't, can convince you. <laughs> so that uh, I will see you guys in the next cigar review. Make sure to also tune in to our podcast, Shadow Smokes Legion in the Shadow Podcast. You can find that in pretty much every single podcast platform. You will be able to find the newest episode on the flat platforms first. But if you want to listen to on YouTube, YouTube will be one week late. One week late. All right. So, you know, uh, if the radio already have, if the podcast on any platform already have episode seven, YouTube will have episode six. So now the benefit of YouTube is that you get to comment on it. So if you want to listen and comment on it, you go with the YouTube side. If you want to, uh, you know, listen to it just for the listen, then you listen to the radio side. Now, they are not really time-sensitive sequence. So, if you haven't listened to any of them, go ahead and listen to the YouTube version, right? Easy, whatever. The reason we put it on the platform is easier for you to listen. You know, if you have Spotify, you have Google, you have uh, Apple, you can listen to all that without having the screen open. I think... Uh, if you listen to the, the YouTube version, you must have your like a cell phone screen on or something down less a paper premium. So I just tried to make it easy. Alright, so that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>